Before I start the video, I would like to acknowledge the Boomerang people of the Kulin Nation who are the traditional custodians of this land and recognize their continuing connection to land, water, and community. I would also like to honor and pay respect to the elders of this land past, present, and future and extend that respect to other Indigenous Australians. I have visited Springville Botanical Cemetery to pay respect to all the brave men and women who serve in military forces and to expose myself in this beautiful and scenic surroundings my nature. I took a walk around the botanic garden, felt connected to the land and found that the natural world waiting for me to explore. The feel and scent of the air, the blossom flowers, these elements of the natural world support meaning making in the complex entanglement of place and human. It is in these connections that matter of ecological ties between place and us as human, which reminds me of Eorios et al's work in the reading. Like M. Pello have mentioned before, I believe that to foster an intimate relationship with place, we need to know the stories and histories that are linked to that place, just as we do in our intimate relationships with people. I observed the birds in the yard and I became curious about different living animals that inhabit in this environment. This made me reflect on the biological science to understand living things' basic needs and how the ecosystem supports life system and provides stability. I realized it is a dynamic learning space with natural features which create stimulation and variety for learning. I head out to different areas of the place and choose my route accordingly and it takes me to the yard full of brachycaton acerifolias which have bright red bell shaped flowers that cover the whole tree. I have seen the bees and bugs hiding underneath the flowers. The bees pollinate plants and contribute to complex and interconnected ecosystems that allow a diverse number of different species to coexist. And as I explore in the garden, I smell the scent of the plants that I never smelled before. I wonder if this is another Australian native plant, and I found it at the corner of the garden. It is a gorgeous flower. I have also seen different species of native wildlife on the ground, with multiple wetland species of birds living and breeding here, such as Australasian bittern as well as kookaburra. I heard the birds chirping and I start to think about how this connected to the cycle of life, including plants and animals, as well as nature cycles such as season and weather. Before I leave the garden, it started to rain. I noticed that the raindrops had fallen on the pool which made me think about the earth's endless water cycle and rain formation. The leaves become glossy and softly waving in the breeze. I tilt my face toward the sky, feeling water and sunshine together which soothes my heart and brings a steadiness to my soul. I left the garden with increasing sense of connection to the world around me and ponder about the questions I have about native plants and animals, looking forward to discover and explore science in nature play with children in future.